Tom, who's right, boss, Grinch? One more, please. That's it. Oh. Run, Henry. Run away. Run away. Got it out. Oh, hi. Got it out. Oh, oh, hi, doggy. I can't ask for that. Perfect app that's really good at like picking out what the foreground is. Okay. Yeah, it's it's actually like alarmingly good at it. It's it's uh, actually a part of my process when I make stuff is all like because getting like the the subject of something and the background correct in one go is really hard, but getting the the background correct in one go and then getting the subject correct in one go and then just like taking out whatever background is on the character is. Very straightforward. Okay. Um, but then you just have to get like lighting and stuff, right? Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, like I said, I, I was kind of trying playing around with with AI image generators and stuff, and yeah, it wasn't anything that I was. <laughs> There's a new easy way to do it. Um, they, there's a new program called Focus with three O's. Um, and uh, th they're designing it to be like as user friendly as possible, basically. Yeah, I just I just typed in Yahoo Automatron Gunslinger in cowboy outfit and then picked a couple pictures that I liked. OK, <laughs> so it was super simple for me. Yeah, it, it shouldn't be hard, but uh, if it is, I can always just like generate something. It should be pretty easy. What's the difference between the artisan's toolkit and the alchemist's toolkit? Artisan's toolkit. It uh, looks like artisans for um, like making permanent crafted items, whereas an alchemist kit's for making consumables. Oh, okay. So, like a blacksmith's toolkit or a woodworker's toolkit. And I don't see a blacksmith's toolkit anywhere. They're all called artisans. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, then. That's exactly what I needed, then. All right, are we ready for the recap? Mm. He's not deafened anymore. <sighs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, all right, cool. Let's have a recap just so I can know what I told you guys, and then uh, we can uh, we can get going. Hey, Mom. Uh, we just robbed a bank. Why? Yeah, somebody told us to. Uh, 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 there's bad people doing bad things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we're uh, there's, yeah, there's two corrupt people. And it was their bank, their money we stole from the bank. Oh, uh, yeah. Ambrose Mugland. Yeah, and then the sheriff. Uh, Deputy Sheriff Shield Marshal Angelique Loveless. Loveless, that's right. Muglin and Loveless.
Yeah, they're they're fairly infamous characters in town. They're gonna make um, somebody leave them low. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, as you run forward, I'll just read this part again here. Uh, as you run into the scrapyard, you hear, uh, yes, deputy, right away, and the pounding of footsteps Shh. behind you. As you run forward... Uh, uh, you hear a high-pitched, nasally voice that yells, hey, Longshanks! Shield marshals following you. Collapse the tower. And a green goblin standing atop one of the peaks of uh, of rusty scrap points to the east at a tower that is teetering dangerously. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, they're in front of us? No, they're behind you. The goblins are in front of you, up over here. Uh, and there are people running up behind you. I'm immediately going to scamper out of the way of the, the tower if it's going to collapse. Start uh, it looks like it's not... It, it needs a little help to collapse. Yep. That could be somebody yeah, else's job. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll try to scramble up here. Ooh. And... It's over here, right? Uh, it, it's it's a, whatever... or, is it, or is it this thing? No, it's to, to the east. Yeah. Okay, that's that thing. Got it. Okay. Yep. Try to get up uh, here. Who, who's who's Tim? I'll get up there. Uh, okay. Um, how are you trying to collapse it? <clears throat> um, do I notice anything loose or like is it? The, did the controls work? To... Uh, so the the crane isn't immediately operable. It's it's, it's right to the east, and there's some like uh sticks and stuff holding up um oh sorry I, I have to read this uh whisper piles of discarded scrap metal wood and other garbage mark the edge of a path leading north into the scrapyard several bits of debris have recently collapsed into the entrance just w oh, west sorry west a veritable tower of piled refuse wobbles precariously the path path opens to the north and east into the scrapyard or exits south into an alley between two buildings Shouts and whistles can be heard coming from the direction of the gold tank reserve to the south. Yeah, so here ish. Okay. And I'm going to just try and dislodge whatever's propping it up. Uh, okay. Let's see. All right. Uh, give me a survival check. Shit. Okay, uh, you uh, start to pull it down, but some of it unfortunately does fall on you. Please take five bludgeoning damage. Uh, and as you're trying this, the, the uh, shield marshals are getting very, very <coughs> close. Quickly! Quickly, I Long Shanks, they get close! I can try to shoot it from a distance. Destroy some of the rubble that's that's in the way if if he doesn't want to stand there and take some more damage. Um, can Drax try and uh, release the crane hook from up here? Uh, the crane doesn't stretch over. It's, it's here that you're trying to, to knock over. Yeah. This this pile here. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotcha. 
Um, so uh, basically, uh, whoever wants to help, you get your choice of either crafting, engineering lore, or survival. Uh, uh yeah. I'll... Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I can try and uh, rock some crafting. Okay. And I'm right there with crafting as well. Yep, it's in chat. And I'll tell you if they need to be if they need to be blind for this campaign. You guys can just roll them publicly unless I tell you to. Okay. Uh, so that's one success. And with that second success. All right, boys, let's scram. Oh, nice sound effects and everything. <laughs> Um, all right. And as it collapses, uh, you see a, um, a elf turn the corner with a rifle with a scope on top of it. Uh, uh, she draws her rifle and fires in one fluid motion, uh, aiming right at Steed. But oh, no. right as she fires, falling debris block the bullet, and the rest of it uh, uh, finishes falling, obscuring your vision of her. Um, you hear a shout from the other side, I'm coming after you, and I always hit my target. After I'm done with you, there won't be enough of your lead uh, pocked body left to identify. Do you hear me? You'll pay for crossing Mugland. Pay in blood! And, uh, is there a way to do this? I'm going to respond. What, what's that die? I can't hear you over the crashing of scrap in your way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Do they make a macro out of this? Uh, no. All right, everyone gets 30 XP. E I don't know how to add that One manually, five. but... Uh, and you hear the sound of uh, goblins sliding down uh, scrap metal to the northwest. We got companies. I'm going to start limping that way. A ring of old crates surrounds a makeshift campfire in this dis uh, discreet corner of the junkyard. A complicated contraption of gears and rods over the campfire forms a spit that can be rotated using two foot pedals attached to a gear. The smell of smoked meat manages to cut through the ambient stench of trash emanating from the scrapyard's walls. Around the campfire are various patchwork tents and a large pavilion to the south. Piles of scraps around the camp conveniently stacked to make climbing to the top easier. A path on the northern edge of camp leads east into the scrapyard. Well, they're not attacking us. I'm going to uh, introduce ourselves. Uh, and they have absolutely no sense of personal space. They come right up to you and start pulling on your clothes. Um, and, uh, and they say, what weird clothes? Why are they so clean? Gross. Lead. They're covered in my own blood and viscera. <laughs> uh, and you look positively immaculate compared to these things. It's clear these guys have been living in the scrapyard for years, and you get the sense that you've heard of these guys before. These are the nail gobblers. Um, and it's rumored it's where a lot of the cheap quality items in town come from. Um, uh, another one says, are you here to fight the gnolls? Maybe? We were just running from some people, actually. Oh, the shield marshals? Do you know them? They're mean. Yeah, they are. 
Uh, do you want to speak with Lord Glass? Sure. Uh, on cue, emerging um, dramatically from the tent. Uh, there we go, that button. Uh, trusted long sharks, or sorry, trusted long shanks, intones Lord Glass, the bedazzled leader of the scavengers in stilted common. We welcome you to Scrap City and accept your offer of help. He bows deeply, but weighed down by the countless shards of colored glass lining his clothes, nearly loses his balance and falls off his stack of milk crates. He gathers himself and clears his throat. <clears throat> As promised, if you drive the gnolls away, we promise to give you our best junk. We have a deal? I'm going to lean over to Metal Finger and just go, that outfit can't be OSHA approved. <laughs> I bet he has a lot of... <laughs> just think about the chafing. <laughs> Sure, you have a deal. Uh, besides, it'll provide some sort of uh, escape for a little while. Give us something to do. While we're waiting for things to cool uh, down in town. Hold on. Is that beard taped to his face? It totally is, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Uh, the uh, so something something they do prepare me for in this they didn't do in the last one is usually they're expecting like all major NPCs for you guys to have like some kind of questions for them and they actually prep me with um, like answers and stuff for them so you're, you're not like stepping on my toes or making me like make stuff up if you're asking questions just so you know What kind of jump do you have? Uh, I thought he had this. Um, best junk. Secret junk we don't usually sell to long shanks. Rare metal. Lord Glass smiles wide, his teeth chipped and sharp. Can you give us a uh... Show us your goods before we accept this. We have secret hiding place. Cannot show. But as true as my beard, I'm a goblin of my word. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the phrase I wanted you to use there, partner. Um, <laughs> um. Oh. Do you have any more uh, details about what we need to do? Uh, Lord Glass eyes you with uncertainty, perplexed. He enunciates each word as he slowly replies, Make Knowles go away. We give you gift. And he kind of mimes out a gift. He turns to a nearby goblin and loudly whispers, I didn't expect smart mercenaries, but did Pogi find ones who can't even remember what we hired them for? What are the gnolls most susceptible to as far as damage? Uh, they're made of flesh. So, get normal flesh weaknesses. Yep. I think, uh, Steed is going to, uh, Exasperatedly, he's just going to sit down next to the fire and kind of point at whatever's roasting and, and, and like, uh, can I have some of this way? <laughs> uh, uh, they offer you pickled rat, which pickled is rat? currently roasting. Fuck it, I'll eat it. <laughs> All right. Um, so everyone uh, gets rest in. So wounded conditions go away and you guys heal to full, but you don't uh, you don't regain spell slots. Okay. Uh, 
um, while we're eating with them, I would like to, of course, uh, terribly impolitely, uh, through a mouthful of food, say, so what the fuck is a knoll? <laughs> They come to our scrapyard and attack us. They attack Longshanks, too. He says he's just chewing a mouthful. The shield marshals think we attack Longshanks, accuse us of killing them. But why would we kill when we have so much good scrap around? Make no sense. All to say, these murderers are bad for business. Hmm. Damn, I never expected Rat to taste this good. How tall? <laughs> <laughs> How tall are gnolls, roughly? Oh, bigger than you guys? <laughs> yeah, a, a, a little bigger with lots more limbs. Very oh. weird and scary. Oh, great. Just a regular old walking freak show, then. <laughs> uh, yeah, over time you can you can stand by. Um, and you guys, uh, uh, he tells you more about where they're located at. Uh, north over the wall. We put up sharp metal to keep them out. Block their way with the old ship, the big metal box. We shut them out, but they're still there. Go make them gone. The easiest way for Longshanks to get there is to go east. Around the big metal box and the old ship. Hmm. Okay, well, we done here, boys? Okay. Um, and you guys uh, have heard of uh, Tales of the Scrapyard. You know it's called the Wailing Scrapyard? Because uh, there's like a ghostly howl that people hear from the scrapyard. No. Steed's immediately gonna dis disregard that as superstition. Ah, it's bullshit. It's just metal creaking against each other. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> and after he's uh, thanked the King of Glass, I think was his name, for uh, the hospitality, he's uh, gonna start walking away. Uh, and you guys can. Um... You can uh, return here to rest as you need to. Walking, walking, walking. And it uh, it starts to get late. Get low. Hmm. Shit. Should we maybe sleep then? Uh, you do know that the shield marshals are hot on your tail. Even mm. though you've had kind of time to calm down, uh, sleeping might be a little. Yeah, so don't sleep here. Got it. A little precarious. What's yeah, short rest the only, basically. Uh, okay. Uh, a reddish-brown circular pool of water stands in the center of a large open area with stacks of metal and wood to the north and south. To the east, a large steel box already pitted with rust blocks the way past the pond. At the bottom of the pond, a large pile of cloth sits mostly motionless some unseen current causing bits of fabric to dance in the water. Oh, the cloth is over a drain, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say the drain's clogged. Oh, oh god damn it. I, I can send my construct in. Um, I'll, I'll dive in with the construct. It, it, it's not deep. It's like a foot. It's like a foot deep. Oh. I'm just going to walk over. All right. And as you walk towards that, a squelch from the south. As he pops up out of the water. Uh, 
All right, Jesse James. Quick on the update. Hey. All right. Um, I was already loaded. I'm going to move. First action is to move 20 feet. No, 25. Uh, next action is I'm going to raise shield. Oop, I don't have that macro. Control space. There you go. Why can't I put that into my bar? Not the um, macro. Use the one that they post in chat. Yeah, I'm trying to. Hmm. I'm just dragging it over. Anyways. Okay. Uh, last action is give uh, two to my construct. Uh, try that one. Okay. And we're going to move him back here, and that's the turn. Uh, sorry, the, uh, for the construct, it is a, uh, it's difficult terrain. Oh, so we can only It is move. water, yeah. So we can only move 10. Was this, was that where I was, or was I back further? Yeah, you were there. Okay. There's one. Well, I can kind of get there for, for that duty. Okay, Tim. All right, first action, we're going to move. Actually, we're going to use. The uh, sudden charge. For two actions. Let's go, let's go. We always like fighters. They're nice and easy to play, but still fun. And... <clears throat> I'm going to try and trip this thing to my attack. Or do I have to strike with the... Um... Uh, yeah, melee You have strike. to strike with the sudden charge, but you can do that as your third action. Okay. Not with a one. Ooh, that's a miss, unfortunately. Uh, keep in mind, trip is also an attack, so it would be a minus five. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to raise my shield. Okay. All right, Rex. All right, all right. Let's see. I want to... I'm going to step over the drain here for my first action, and then I'm going to uh, devise a stratagem. Okay. Let's see what I can get. Damn. Starting out strong. Um. Da -da -da. So I'd recommend just not attacking him then. <laughs> yep. Um, let me do a recall knowledge. Okay. Uh, you can either do occultism or crafting. Um, let me let me get into the uh, the spooky side. Okay. Um, Duke, my 
question is what kind of um what's its weakest save i'll just make it easy okay Um, I'm going to call it with my, uh, three, six seconds of speech. Um, this thing doesn't look too strong. So if you can mess with its fortitude, it's definitely going to get knocked against it. It's my turn. Uh, okay. Um, so Drax, you seem to have the most metal on you. So it's going to whip its, uh, its pseudopod out against you. Damn. All right. All right, cool. I see how it is. Oh, God damn. Kerp plat. Ow. <laughs> I'm okay. Well, I don't know why it's not putting me in dying, but. Oh, I didn't enable it, I don't think. Uh, computer settings. F two E workbench automation. Both of these, this uh, add one. save changes okay i think that'll do it so it should do it from now on uh and then uh happy with that it's gonna attack tim game pause for anybody else oh my bad okay <laughs> uh and tim you are quick on your feet and it can't quite hit you it's gonna go again at you Oh, nope. All right. I don't know. Like the sound effects aren't working. All right. Well, we're going to use our 10 paces to slide on over here. Um, and then we'll. <laughs> we're going to use this automation aim with. Automaton. Takes my uh, um, second range increment from minus two to zero. Cool. And then we're going to do a little energy beam on him. We got a target. All right. And then make sure to take off your uh, range increment when yeah, you go I'll... to make the attack. Can't I just use the first one? Uh, so so... Th just, just when you go to in the little dialogue window, It'll have a circumstance penalty of minus two. Just disable that. Okay. Oh, oh wow. Well, good news is you didn't need that because that absolutely crits it. Nice. And you deal regular damage, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, oh. <laughs> Oof. Wow. Cr dominated it. Uh, then. Uh. I guess we'll uh, just do a regular shot at him. Nice. Wow. Back to back. Those are the two extremes. <laughs> yeah, R and Jesus giveth and he taketh away. Can you um can you roll regular damage for me? Cause this is an ooze, so it's immune to crits. Oh. Oh. I, I clicked the critical hit damage. Should I have yeah, hit the regular, regular one? You hit the regular, yeah. On the bright side, it gives you a chance to re-roll because it literally can't be worse. Okay. It yeah. might not be any better, though. 
<laughs> oh, he, he does still take the persistent damage. How do I? Okay. Because they took away the ability to do that from this menu, I think. Really? Persistent. Oh, no, it's right there. Uh, yeah, the one fire Aya. save. There we go. All right. All right, Bardman. All right. Well, um, your team needs buffs. Yeah, yeah, but being the insufferable prick that he is, I think he's going to first stick his thumbs in his waistband like a cowboy and kind of lounge a bit, and then he's going to start casting. <laughs> We're going to start with... Uh, fuck it, we'll start with Lingering Composition. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Your dice are really hard to read. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, standard DC of the highest level target of your composition. So, uh, okay. that's so going to be against friendlies, because I'm going to use... Yeah, it's a, it's a regular success. Okay, cool. Then we're going to cast Courageous Anthem. <laughs> okay. That's for three rounds. And it should be, so... yeah, it's automatic for them. And then, yeah, so the, the effect is three rounds. Okay, so... Do you know I... how to go into, like, your effects? It's... I cannot increase it, so... Uh... uh Right-click, remove right. effect... Here, I, I got gotcha. you. So if you go into the effects... Uh, and you go to... Aura... Uh, so yeah, yeah, so I'm teaching you how to do this. So go into effects, the third tab from the right that says effects. It's a person with uh, an X behind them. So where in your am character I sheet? For? In so my character game. sheet, okay. like right under level one, it's yeah. a person oh, standing in front of two yeah. diagonal lines. Okay, duration three rounds. Got yes. it. Yes. Okay. Yep. You learned something today. All right. All What's right. your second action? Um. Well, I think my second and third action. Let's see, that's a status bonus, isn't it? It in fact is. So I'm going to cast. Eh, we'll go for a fear spell on it. Nah, let's. let's uh, do it you know it's an ooze. Yeah, let's let's try and feeble instead then. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, regular success. Regular success. Until the start of your next turn. One. All right, and that is my turn. All right, Jesse James. Uh, Jesse James will use his six seconds of free speech. I'll get to the fallen one this uh, this round, but I won't be able to get an elixir mouth till next. Uh, so we are a difficult terrain, right? Nope, you're not small. Oh, okay. Well, then, actually, I should be able to do it this round. Uh, we'll go there for one action. We will do quick alchemy for our next action. Uh, we'll make an elixir of life. Yep. How do I grab that? Uh... Yeah, that one. Just uh, hit the 1d6 uh, hit points in the chat box. Yep, and then uh, Drax will get the effect. All right, mm. so uh, Drax, you're not, it's not quite deep enough water to float, but the water's like splashing <laughs> all over your face. He just barely manages to pour it into your mouth without spilling it everywhere. He should have just poured it on the water and it just went away. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. That was all three actions. All right, Tim. All right. Time to get a piece of this thing. I'm going to whip my flail upon it. All right. That's a regular hit. Okay. That's a solid hit. But, in reaction... Ew. Low roll, low roll. It deals seven damage, not to you, but to your oh. weapon. 
Um, oh, yeah. So let me get the stat for how much health your weapon has. Well, let's see. Uh, 2E. Okay. Hardness. There was some page I found that gives like the hardness of common items. Um, GF2E e item hardness. Material statistics. That's the one I want. Uh, or steel. Yeah, iron or steel. Uh, okay, so your flail has 18 HP. So it is now down to 11 HP. So um, you can go to your inventory window on your character page, click edit for the item, and then go to details. So you can put the uh, health points in, uh, I believe. I remember seeing it somewhere. Is it in there? I don't see it there. It's not in there anymore. All right. Uh, probably just have to write it down, unfortunately. It's kind of uncommon that things damage weapons. Really uncommon. Yeah. Yeah, so you're down to 11 HP on your flail, basically. Okay. All right, and uh, what's your next action, Tim? Oh. Uh, shield bashing is a legal move. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, Your let's shield is not metal. Do that, yeah, because my shield's not metal. <laughs> All right, um, you try to slam this thing back into the water. Why won't you flush? <clears throat> shield. So it's in your strikes. Hmm. Under shield. Oh, well, there we go. Um, with the, uh, with the plus five. Minus five, yeah. Yeah. Almost the same thing. Slightly different. Then it's a regular hit. Rolling ones today. <clears throat> All right. Kind of, kind of perturbed at the. Uh, Corrosion on the flail. I'm just gonna raise my shield, and that'll be my turn. All right, uh, Drax, you're uh, kind of floating-ish. Um, I'm going to stand up, take a little breather, and. I am going to quick tincture a elixir. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to be sipping this shit all day. I've been drinking all that right. green tea all day. Uh, then this thing that just smushed him. The ooze doesn't like that. So he's gonna hit you. And that's a regular hit. Um. And your split mail is also metal. So it deals four damage to your splint mail. Go ahead and write that down. Um, and then uh, this thing is made of rust, so it's going to expose you to tetanus. Please click that fortitude save. Um, the armor does have the hit points. You can put. Oh, it does. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can put the uh, like the hardness and the hit points in there as well. Oh. Nice. So you should have 18 hit points. Uh, and then it takes four off that, so it's 14. And then your hardness is normally um, is normally nine, but uh, the acid goes through it. All right, so edit that for you. All right, and you successfully don't get tetanus. Mm -hmm. It's going to whip behind it at the construct. 
Oh, and it misses the construct, so it's going to go again. And miss again. All right. Okay. Right. Damage or recovery. Health recovery. Nice. So we're going to do a little recounter's reload on him. We're going to create a diversion. All right. Doesn't. So click on it and then some distracting words. Or, uh. There we go. Yeah, or gesture or trick. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Success. You are hidden. You come. So go ahead and drag that hidden uh, on top of yourself. All right. And I get to reload. Yep. Um, and then we're going to pop off at him. All right. <clears throat> All right. It's a regular hit and you lose hidden. Uh, we will... Third action will be to move here. Nope. Move here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. You get your feet wet. This water stinks, by the way. All right, Bard Man. The water stinks, you say? Well, all the more reasons to not get anywhere close to it. Um, I... Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, how fucked up is Drax looking right now? Uh, he's he's go like he's pounding and then crushing with his fist multiple health tonics, and he's still a little beaten up. Yes. Okay. Still not doing much. Still not doing much. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm gonna cast Soothe on him then. Don't let it ever be said I don't do anything for you. Oh damn! Is that out of range? Are you out of range? Feet? Oh, You're no. way out of range. You're way out of range. Closer. Ah. You have to get it wet, though. No, no, oh. fuck that. I ain't doing that. Hey, <laughs> up. You gotta, you gotta dip your feetsies. <laughs> no, no, no. Steve Bonnet. He's a nice guy, but he's not a nice guy. If you get what I'm, what I'm putting down. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Well, he's going to. Eh, what else can I do instead then? Pass the cantrip. Yeah, yeah, I could. That's about it. It's a 60 level one. Except it's an ooze. It doesn't have a. Uh, that's a mental. So. You can cast light. Yeah, I was gonna say. Was gonna <laughs> yeah, you can um, you, you can, can try so. to like uh, intimidate it or whatever else you want to do. It's... Well, he, I think he's just gonna go for the good old good old, and he's going to calmly, coolly, slowly draw his firearm. All right. <laughs> for his first action, and then uh, and I think we'll try shooting it. See how that goes. Wow. Poorly. God. You need to make your uh, text on your dice a little darker. <laughs> It does hit. Okay. It does hit. All right. Damage. Cool. Whee. Nice. <laughs> I'm doing great work here, boys. Can't you tell? If you what think are... about it, Courageous Anthem doubled your damage right there. It did. Uh, all right. And then... Ah... Uh... What do I do for my last action? Uh, reload, um, probably. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Let's reload. <laughs> that's good. All right, just James. All right. Uh, seeing that bullets are having pretty good effect on him, we're going to go ahead and target and give an old shot. <clears throat> Regular hit. Okay, uh, next action, reload. 
and we'll sh we'll shoot again. That's uh, not miss. Okay, that's all three. All right, Tim. All right. Well, I'm going to start off by raising my shield, and then I'm going to use it to smack this thing around. All right. Come on. That hits. It's flank. That hits. <laughs> Thank God. Slime AC isn't high. They just can't get crit. Yeah. And they have, like, crazy immunities. And encouraged by the success, I'm going to go in for round two. Hits again. Low numbers are fun. <laughs> right. right. That's your turn. All right. It's splatting a lot. Drex. Oh, um, I'm going to think of a strategy in my head. All right. Wasn't a one that time. Congratulations. Um, I feel like I have a pretty good strategy in, in my head, so um, I'm going to pick up my short sword and then um, use my um, strategy. Okay, regular hit. Um, oh, strategic strike. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Um, however, I'm going to use Corrode Weapon on you. And your sword takes nine damage. Jesus. Okay. Oh, um... Uh, 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 yeah, that was all three. Okay. So I think this thing's going to attack at Tim here. Oh, and it finally hits Tim. Man, that shield is really, really doing you a lot. All right. Please take nine bludgeoning damage. And it's going to do... Six more to your armor. So I'll do that for you. Put it down to eight. All right. Uh, and that's going to uh, try to give you tetanus. All right, success. Damn, you got uh, a rusty eye. And then it's going to uh, slime forwards and uh, kind of squeeze between you there. And it's going to attack just James. You do. All right, that's a hit. Oops, not a crit. All right, just James, take seven bludgeoning damage, please. Yeah, Make a tetanus save. All right, nice. And then uh, your armor is going to take six damage. So change shirt, edit, details, 18. Then in a twelve. All right. All right. Well, oh, we're gonna recounters reload him again. Oh. Oh, you're good. I don't know. Was that a success? Oh, that was, was a that failure. A success? Failure. That was okay. a failure. All right. Well, we'll just shoot at him then. Uh, 
Hits. Ooh. Like I said, oozes don't have a lot of HP. Jesus. Or don't have a lot of AC. Uh. Uh, you know what? What the hell? We'll go with the we'll go with the energy beam again. <laughs> Seven, Ooh, man. close. That is a lot of negatives on that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bird. All right. Hmm. Well, I do say, <laughs> this is getting quite out of hand. Kablamo. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I guess we'll reload and uh, try something different. Like... Uh, take this, Betty! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, you sure showed him. All right, Jesse. Uh, Jesse's going to run like a little bitch. Uh, we're going to come down here for our first action. Uh, we are going to, again, quick alchemy, uh, potion of elixir. Got it right here. And I want to... All right, that is all three of them. That was fun. All right, Tim. All right, you wade through the water, sloshing behind this uh, blob. It's all muted. No, nope, sorry. Just running through the water. <laughs> yeah, I was running. It was and, it was loud water. And then smack this thing with my shield like it's a big wasp, like how you overstrike at him. I'm just trying to trying to Ooh. smack this thing right in half. All right, that's a regular hit. <laughs> I your strength mod is carrying this encounter so far. It is. You've got like half the damage. Or you're rolling one and twos. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta raise my shield, try to protect my armor from his little flangy, flangy things. I'm gonna do that, and that's my turn. All right, Rex. Um, I'm thinking of a way I can um, kind of stab and pierce into this dude. All right, cool. Let's see. Hit. Wait. And uh, I don't believe he's used this on anyone yet this round. Uh, he's got some choice words for you. Namely, your sword takes seven acid damage. So oh, I'm at 16. You know how to edit it. Um, not for the sword. Yeah, go into the edit item and go to details. Oh, sorry, you're you're just keeping track of them. Never mind. My bad. I just read the weapon part. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Um, I'll go ahead and take a a regular uh, second swing. Regular hit. Sweet. Hey, all right. There's my one. And then that is my turn. Uh, all right. This thing, uh, by the book, pursues anything that flees. So it's going to scamper after. Uh... I didn't flee. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, scamper after Jesse James. Thanks for selling me out there, yeah. bro. <laughs> no honor among thieves. And it's going to attack you. And that's a regular hit, not a crit. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then make a fortitude save, please. Whew. 
You guys are lucky. You you got all your tetanus shots. Um, Do you not have attack of opportunity? At level one, probably not. I could have sworn. Uh, all right, and then your armor takes five more damage, so I'll do that. Edit item. All right. And it's going to attack you again. Oh, shoot, I do. Reactive strike, it's called. Okay, and miss. Awesome. All right. I don't it's know why it's not easy automatically to doing this. All right, uh, uh, Metal Finger. Well, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I've had enough of him. We'll do some distracting words. All right, failure. Jesus. Um, I guess we'll blast him. Oh, because I get the reload. We'll blast away at him. Go. Damn. Break the hit. Yep. Hey! All right, and this thing is on on the ropes. It's breaking apart slightly. All right, we're gonna energy beam him. All right. Kamehameha! Game pause. Hit. Oh, my bad. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, regular hit. And. It disintegrates. Wait. It's uh, kind of a rough go. Mm hmm. I did not bring enough bullets if every fight is going to be like that. No, no, I'm the same boat. I'm going to step back because. Feet were getting a little close to getting wet. I'm going to reach down and give a strong tug at those rags down there. All right. Yeah, I'll help him out. Um. Wait, hold on. Uh before um i want to tie my rope okay to something and throw it out there so they can grab on, so they don't get sucked down the drain okay smart call not a bad idea um, as you pull the rags aside though they're held really tightly in place and as you pull and tug at it more there's a metal grate that they've been woven into through the circling motion. And you think you're going to need a little more strength to... Um... Uh, Down, uh... go ahead and add your XP. Ah, right. I'll go ahead and use some athletics to try and uh, give a give a go to heave. It looks like you're going to need more, more power, not more strength. More people? Nope. It looks like this is the kind of job for machinery. Oh, can we uh, uh, clamber up this thing and use the crane? As you get closer, you hear the skittering of insects. I'm going to reload my pistol really quick. All right. And as you get close, darting up, from beneath the uh, the refuse is a bunch of cockroaches. It's a swarm. How big can we just step on them? There's a lot of them. Time to change my dice, because they're cursed. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, so this is going to skitter its way over here. And then it's going to use Swarming Bites against both of you. Please make this Reflex save. Courageous Anthem would have worn off, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think Dallin has to uh, I got it. drop the effect. Yep. Okay. So half damage to Jesse and full damage Metal Finger. Okay, pause. Oh, my bad. And then it's going to try to bite again. So can you please make the reflex save again? Yeah. Oh. All right. And uh, full damage, Jesse. No damage, Metal Finger. Or... Six this time. I'm down. Oof. All right, and death by a thousand cuts. Jesse goes down. Tim. Well, can't leave him outside a outside a company, so I'll be fixing to join him here shortly. And first action is get close. Second action is to. Try my flail on these guys. Hopefully they don't corrode my fucking me. Hey, it miss. Damn it. Nope, miss. Um. And trying to hit each individual shit. one seems very difficult. Some kind of area would be much more effective. All right, Steve. All right. Well, um. I guess I'll step closer if I have to. <laughs> uh, probably only that much closer, though. And then, uh. He'll, he'll, he'll try and save his poor hapless teammate. Ooh, not bad, not bad. Ow! That was a max roll. Don't forget to take your your soothe spell effect there. And that's his turn. Uh. All right. All right. Oh, we'll go here for our ten paces. Um. Then we'll go ahead and slide on back for the first action. Uh. Then we'll go with a little energy beam. Probably should target something, huh? Probably. Okay, hit. Nice. All right, this kind of attack seems effective against it. You know what? We'll go again. Why not? Ooh. That's no. That's not a hit, right? No. <laughs> okay, because it, it gives me the option for damage or critical, where it used to not. If yeah, you missed. No. Different configuration uh, of mods. Yeah, I probably, I probably have to like change settings. I, I, Cat has been very tuned over the years. That'd be thirty. Did I get straight through or? Uh, you can, yes. Okay. It's a swarm of Stop insects. Stomp on him! Stomp on him! <laughs> right. Um, I am... Uh, I'm going to take a couple slashes at the ground. I'm going to devise the best way to do it first. Hmm. The best way to do it is to roll a 19. Yes. So that is what I shall do. Critical it. Ooh. I don't All care right. if it, <laughs> and it seems like 
individually targeting the cockroaches is not the way to do this. Despite the fact that you have a stunning blow against one of them, there's still hundreds of cockroaches in the swarm. Hmm. That is a uh, predicament. Hmm. Um. Only there was a way to target multiple of them at the same time. Yeah, if only. Um. Okay. Um. We use my last action to actually back up over here. All right, Jesse James. All right, first action. We are going to stand up. This prone off of us. Fair. Next action is a little quick alchemy. And this time we're going to make a little uh, alchemist fire. <laughs> Mark? Nope, so I got to go to inventory. How do I do my roll on that? So hit quick no. alchemy and then hit the craft button on Alchemist Fire. In your crafting menu, the fifth one over the hammer. Yep, and that's what I did. And I have Alchemist Fire right here. Yep, so at the top, toggle free crafting and then uh, put quantity one and hit the hammer icon. Uh, is it in your inventory? It's not. Um, you said Alchemist Fire, right? I'll just make one and pop it in his. Formulas. A quick alchemy should do it automatically. What happens when you when you craft? It essentially lets you. Okay. Because it, it's the same as like free crafting. Yeah. There. Now attack with it. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to sneeze here. Ah. Are you succeeding? No. All right. I put, so I you put one in your inventory. There it is. So See, music, there's a, a use button at the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. I wonder if you because have to I don't have anything. hold in one hand. You have to. It's in your weapons. You have to. Use oh, it I got you. Your, but yeah. you make it in your hand, so you don't have yeah. to pull it out. Yeah, correct. Then you do have to use a uh, thing to attack with it. Yep. And then make your strike. strike window. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not getting any strike window. So the if you when you hover over it, you see that bar where it says like attack strikes actions. It's in strikes. For at the very top, alchemist fire. Okay. Plus six. Or if yeah, you go your actions. Okay. Hmm, that's just different from. Oh, are you gonna accept that? Uh, no, we're gonna go ahead and use hero point with that comment. All right. No, I. I... <laughs> Same. Wow. Way. Well, at least you're consistent. It misses. Really. Yep. Mm. Yeah, and that's your turn, right? Correct. Yep. Sorry, guys. All right. Um, the swarm is going to uh go across the ground over here. Oh, why? Now, hey, now. Uh, and then it's going to make uh, two bites. Can I use my against... reactive strike? Sure can. 
which uh, not for what it'll do, but you know. Miss. Yeah, seventeen's a curse number. Uh, can you make two basic reflex saves, please, Steed? All right, success and failure. So you take half and full damage. So here's the half. And here's the full. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Couldn't have been yeah. reversed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stack the deck. All right, Tim. <laughs> Follow this thing over here. And maybe using my shield would do better, so we're going to try that. Nope. Hits! Nope. All right. And uh, your your shield, you can squish a couple of them at the same time, so it's marginally more effective. I'm gonna raise my shield. All right, Hiyo Silver, it's your turn. All right. Let's see here. Uh, get the fuck away. That's that's uh, that's first order of business, I think. It's a solid Which... order. Where to get away is the question, though. That way. Stay the fuck away from me. Um, <laughs> uh... it's one action. We're gonna cast Courageous Anthem with our second action, and then for our third action, we're going to cower. I mean, <clears throat> take cover behind a shield. <laughs> All right, Melfinger. All right, I thought that was a hell of an idea of getting away from it. <laughs> um, and that still puts me within 20. Uh, go with a little energy strike. Jesus Christ. All right, and it goes somehow right between all of them. Uh, hitting the mountain of trash behind Tim and almost hitting him head in the head with the plate that falls from it. Ah, what the hell? We'll go again. We can't suck that bad twice in a row, can we? Apparently not. Right, go ahead. Uh, uh, Jesus. Oh, what? <laughs> All right. Ouch. You could say the Courageous Anthem doubled your damage. That's true. Bigly. All right, Drax. Um, Drax is going to use his brain to think. It feels like a solid strategy. Uh, he's going to run over to flank and then... um. Do a uh, quick little uh, jab at some of these guys. Oh wait, um, I actually I'm gonna call back my move, but I'm still gonna use my um prepare or uh, device stratagem, and I am going to actually uh quick. Uh, tinker myself a bottle of lightning. Okay. And I want to throw it at this square so I don't hit anybody else's splash damage. Hit. Hits. Oh, I love throwing stuff. Smart. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> I guess strategic strike on this too. Wow. Yeah, it is a strike. Oh. Uh, I... Holy. Holy. Really? <laughs> it let me uh, do it. All right. It completely obliterates the cockroaches. Yeah, I literally just like 
just smash this into the ground and it just is like a dust cloud of them. <laughs> oh, and, I'm glad uh, I wasn't hit. Uh, from the mist laser beam, actually, you hear a compartment fall off of the crane. Um, Jax is gonna limp over and check that out. Before the... we go yeah, too much further, yeah, I was I gonna say, does anybody back. have a uh, healer's tools on them? Healing? <laughs> yeah, anybody no. want to healer? Healer? Not over here, brother. Um, well, I'm going to sit down for 10 minutes and get rid of the wounded condition. Yeah, I'm going to focus while he does that. I'm going to loot this. Uh... Uh, so you have to be able to heal to get rid of the wounded condition. Well, I thought it said if you could rest for 10 minutes. Sorry. Uh, no, that, that's a shortcut we had because people can heal in the other campaign. Now, you could go back and the goblins can kind of tend your wounds. That's my vote. My vote. Doesn't sound like too bad of an idea. Uh, all right. So, um, the goblins uh, mend you. Uh, it's uh, very strange. And um, they insist on stitching together very minor wounds. But it does have the uh, it does have the correct effect. Uh, so you yeah. guys heal back to full, and you lose your wounded. Uh, those are down. Uh, um, and then while you're being healed, if someone wants to figure out what those unusual liquids are, they definitely can try. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, try identify one of them. Okay. Um, you feeling one or two better? Um, you know what? One, all right? All right. Uh, give me a blind crafting check. Okay. You identify it as an eagle eye elixir. Ooh, look what I got, guys. You want to try to identify the other one? Uh, yeah. All right, blind crafting. Where everyone's healing up and like looking and peering at these things. Uh, it is a Leaper's Elixir. Ooh. It's a single action. Wow. That's actually pretty useful. All right, uh, Steve, you guys healed full. Yep. I don't suppose these guys can uh, do a quick repair on weapons and armor. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's, that's actually their speciality. Uh, fixing up uh, humans or, or uh, sorry, what do they call them? Long, long something. Long, long shanks. Uh, uh, fixing up long shanks is, is not really their speciality, and they do a pretty poor job of it. F fixing up weapons, they actually do a really good job. It makes your items look twice as bad because there's a bunch of like rusty parts hammered yeah. over the. Um, the damaged portions, but it's it's actually really effective. It just makes you look like a trash heap. Fair enough. Um, and these guys do also uh, operate as a shop, also, so you can purchase all level one items from these guys. Good to know. All right, ready for round. I think so. All 
All right, let's get on this crane. Let's see if we can uh, get it running to pick up those rags with this thing or pick up the whole grate and everything. A large winch-driven crane towers over the piles of discarded machinery. The crane's base is totally entrenched in debris, and rust pits its arm. In the crane's cockpit, the control panel's faceplate has been removed, exposing the gears and mechanisms behind the foot pedals and long, rusty levers. A wall of debris looms to the south, extending east and west. The open stone to the north is flooded with oily water. Can I take a crack at trying to repair it and get it back to operational? Sure. Give me an engineering lore. Blind. Okay. Uh, get into... That, that would be under lore skills, wouldn't it? Uh, just click that button that I put in chat. And I sure did, and it's not doing anything, big guy. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, give me a blind crafting check. Okay. All right. Um, you can tell that there needs to be some kind of lubricant to effectively use these levers. Okay, well, I'll let the group know. Tell everyone to look around. How how oily is the water, or is it? Uh, not oily enough to to use. But you saw Drox uh, pocketing several vials before. I'm gonna make my way Drops over. You muted. I'm gonna make my sure. way over to the uh, guys and just see if we can buy a little vial of lubricant. Uh, so, uh, oh, Trevor got, has oil. oil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's got oil. Oh, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> I've still been here. I've just been uh, <clears throat> texting somebody real quick, and I'm just okay. My attention. Um, so with the oil. Someone, uh, someone strong needs to operate the levers because they're still in bad shape. The oil just makes them more usable. Well, uh... Can I get a big strong man to come help a poor man out? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll pour uh, one pint of oil in the okay. uh, the crevices. You're doing an athletics check there. Uh, yeah, it's in chat. Okay. Oh, you're so close. God damn it. But it just um, me. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's that's dead it. on. That's dead on. Because it didn't adjust it. Yeah. Fucking because dice are going to get oil, burnt. <laughs> that does it. So you get control of the crane. What are you doing? Uh, Hit the crane first. What's it? And then we can move that big box. Yeah, let's uh, let's yeah, unpock this yeah, drain. I'm going to try to like pull up the there. rags and stuff from the drain. Okay, you pull up the grate beneath the uh, beneath the uh, pool. Cool. And just all the oily water finally slips out. Ooh. And uh, there's a strange bit of cloth. Uh, caught up in there also. That is a very strange piece of cloth. I was thinking about being a monk. They're identified. Yep. All right. Uh, next, I'm going to try and lift up that giant box with the crane. Okay. I'm just going to be the loop. Uh, a massive 20 foot square. Uh, square. Steel walled cube blocks the way east. 
God, that's a lot of adjectives there. Uh, bits of rust have pitted the bottom of the crate, causing it to have crumbled away and formed three large holes on the bottom. The holes are large enough to see the inside is empty. A three foot wide metal loop at the top of the crate allows for easy handling of the metal cube. Swing. Is there anything inside the crate? Yeah, uh, empty. Oh, we got some stuff over to the right here, boys. Uh, several benches from uh, constructed from stack crates and sheets of metal line the so southwestern corner of this area, creating a makeshift workshop. Each table is cluttered with tools, screws, machine parts, alchemical flasks, and various projects in different states of construction. One path through the junk leads away from the north and another to the west. Uh, I'm going to look through the alchemical stuff. Okay. I'm going to come join you. As you go to peer at them... Fireball. <laughs> Uh, bits of machinery come to life. It's fucking Robo Spiders! <laughs> I didn't touch anything! Oh. I guess control doesn't... Oh, no. Okay, I'll just control click on everything, then, like some kind of goddamn plebeian, then. <laughs> no, shift, uh -huh. shift click. There we go. Doesn't want you to shift drag, because fuck you. Alright. Would uh, food still be on me? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, that would have that absolutely fallen off. Just James? Wanna roll? Yes. Holy Back shit, I, oh, I tied him for top. Damn it. Unfortunately, I always get a half a point. I know. Ty goes to the GM. Unfortunately. Oh, that is hysterical how this guy goes first and then I immediately go up after him. Okay, so this guy is going to target weakness against Drax. Oh, okay. And it's going to launch its crossbow bolt right at you. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Thankfully, deadly D4 is only on crits. Okay, here we Ooh, it shoots at you and it misses you, colliding into the desk. And you hear a quiet wail from within the desk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Drex. Uh, three, six seconds of speech. Um, there's something living behind here, but it's it doesn't sound threatening. It's whimpering. Um, then I'm going to immediately go over my... Step up to him. Retract that. Um, I'm going to devise this quick little strategy in my head. Ouch. Nice. Hmm. That does conflict with things. Um. I'm going to quick tincture a uh, Juggernaut Mutagen. And then... Use that for my last action. All right, Melfinger. All right, well, we will use our 10 paces to get a little cover. All right. And uh, we'll target this one down here and take a blast at him. You got this. Nice, solid hit. Oh. All right. Pew, and it glances off of its body. That seemed like a very square hit. Yeah, 
That's what I figured. Uh, I was a strike. Then we will uh, recounter reload this one. Let me get to that page. There we go. All right. Failure. Oh. Well. And, oh, but I get a reload. And then that one will take a little energy shot at him. With my good eye. Oh. Should you use your bad eye? All right, just James. All right, we're going to step up here and try to take a little cover behind this. Oh, not going to let me. So, um, yeah, nope, you, might... you can try to climb as an action if you want to, but um, the, uh, the, the jug is piled pretty steeply. Gotcha. Is that, will that work right there? Come forward yeah. five and over five? Okay. Yep. And I'm going to raise my shield for second action. Third action, I'm going to move. I'm going to give the construct two. Construct pit fight. Uh, we'll move him. We're going to move him 20 right in between those guys. And we'll attack this top one. Nice. How do I oh, up there for attack? Well, I never did. Are these guys melee or unarmed? Uh, they have legs. Okay. They also have crossbows strapped. Uh, crossbow, cross, uh, crossbows crossbow. uh, strapped on top of them. And you're oh. getting twisted. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll take the top one and we will give an unarmed strike. Oh, very close. Yeah. All right, Bartman. All right, well, we're going to start by uh, a courageous anthem. Get everybody going here. Obligatory first action. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, well, God damn it! why does everything have to be mindless? Wait until you can start uh, remixing some music. <laughs> Get multiple ones on at once. Uh, well, I guess we'll go for good old just shoot it in the face then. Uh, can't Fail. even tell what you rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Well, luckily for you, it shows up in the chat window. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I assume it missed, though. So we're just going to reload that and call it there. Then, All right. First action, we're going to move down here. And then we're going to beat this thing with my flail. Um, actually, we're going to try and trip it up. And that is an athletics. Yes. I use the trip macro. I don't have one. Yes, you do. Uh, is it shift? Okay, trip. Oh. Okay, success. It falls over on top of the desk. And... Oh, it's just a success. Gotcha. Mm. And... Third action... I'm going to try and beat it while it's down. Okay, that's your uh, second map. Yep. Mm. Wouldn't have mattered Ooh. anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, so it's going why to... are you beating the puppy? 
It's gonna stand up. And I'm going to use a reactive strike for that. Ooh, critical hit. There. Oh, ho. Get that what? crit. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, finally and more than one. Smushing into the table. You just one shot that? <laughs> uh, nice. Okay. Uh, so this one is going to reload. Kerchunk. And then it's going to shoot at Tim because that seemed kind of spooky. Yep. Uh, There's no uh, contract on contract violence around here. And uh, it glances off your shoulder, Tim, but it smarts a little bit. A little bit. Uh, and then it's going to use Skirmish Strike to skitter around over here and uh, make a leg strike against Drax. No, not my temp HP. Well, I don't have much oh, temp HP anymore. Oh, my temp <laughs> HP. You mean I took one? All right, Drax. He scratched me. I don't like people who scratch me. I uh, I gotta think about this. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm just gonna pull uh pull my gun up in its face and fire. All right, hit. Do you still have strategic strike? Oh, you did. Okay. Uh, and you blast it away. He scratched me. All right, climbing out All from right. under the desk. Uh, with a uh, crossbow bolt, uh, stuck in her hat, is a little goblin. Hey, fella, how you doing? Oh, hi. I, um, sorry, I, I was trying to make some guards, and I may have accidentally told them to kill anything that moves, and that included me and you, so I've been hiding here for a couple days. Uh, oh. But it's okay now, um, uh, because you, you, you saved me, you, you heroes, uh, uh, take, take anything you want. And she kind of uh, gestures at uh, her her workshop. Wow. Uh, does she have any potions of elixir or Alchemer's fire or bottled lightning um, on the table? She says that she can craft uh, you guys anything uh, as a reward for saving her. But she needs um, she needs to keep kits, so you can uh, choose to not pick up one of the kits. Any of the kits that you leave in the workbench uh, gets turned into one consumable for you of oh. common level level one as a permanent item that she makes for you. Um, I have alchemist tools, so we could probably trade that out. Um, let me, uh, let me grab that compass. Put in my, uh, stash pouch. I'm going to grab three of those oils too. And I grabbed a crowbar as well. <clears throat> I'll take the crowbar. There's still uh, more gonna, of them. Yeah, there'll be one left. Yeah, there's three. There. I'm going to grab the repair kit. And then I can work on people's armor. Now, I, I don't have these tools or alchemist tools. But I do have I do have a basic crafter's book. Well, if, you got, if, uh, any, if anybody has thievery, you can grab those tools. 
I've, I've got thievery, and um, I I can uh, specialize with my uh, class skill too. I'm so. I'm I'm pretty good in thievery as well. But you want, want to flip a coin? Sure. Both roll, roll a, a thievery two. check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we should do that. Let's roll a thievery check. Okay. Public thievery. Uh -huh. I'll take my pursuit lead off. Woo! All right. Can you beat a one? Or can you roll a one? Oh, a two ones. Yep. All right. All yours then. <laughs> kind of like that. That was kind of neat. <laughs> that, was, that was funny. I just wanted to see the modifiers, not going to lie. You might as well grab the replacement picks. Of, yeah. <laughs> I was grabbing those too. <clears throat> Does anybody else have a substantial amount of strength that they want to grab that other crowbar? I can I can leverage uh, my head a little bit. I think I'll take the snare kit too then. Um, so I took the climbing kit. Uh, I think we could leave the as well. Is in a snare kit anyway. Crafting skill. Ooh, right. maybe not then. That takes crafting skill. I think that's some that's on somebody else there. Yeah. I think yeah, we can leave the snare kit and have that traded into a different item. Who wants to take that last oil? There's seven more in there. I only oh, took geez. three. Yeah, there's there was ten. <laughs> Everybody can grab a couple. Uh, I've still got I can, two. I can grab three. <laughs> oh, not seventy three. How about just three? <laughs> Cam, did you want to grab some or? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it right now. Oh, you can just uh, drag it on top of your character. Yeah, so I can drag it over and it'll ask for how many. Do do do. I'm going to grab the arts and tools. I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in my... Uh, so you guys are leaving the snare kit and the uh, alchemist tools, right? Uh, somebody should take them. If you guys aren't we going to, I'll stuff them in a backpack. So if we leave them, we can get two items of our choice. Two items of our choice. Yeah, it's essentially the trade. Mm, okay. All right, fair enough. Um, okay. Uh, are we all good on agreement with leaving the two kits? Yep. Yep. I'm on board. Yeah. All right, what okay, items do you guys this. want? Um, I'm good for my character. Um, I'll give it to anybody else. So for... any alchemical. Uh. Uh, so any consumable level one item? Ooh, a Drake. I would be fun. I would take a bottle lightning. I, I can make bottle lightning. Okay, um, okay. but oh, I don't okay. have if any right just... now. That's that's oh, yeah. the problem. Yeah, I will uh, shut my mouth up. <laughs> I was gonna say I would I would take a bottle lightning bomb and alchemist fire bomb. Is that what the group decides? I'm oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was per person. No, I, no I, in, to, in total. Yeah. In total. No, no, no. Um, I think an option somebody might like would be a, oh, dang it. a break heart mutagen. Because they are fun little puppies. Uh, is that uncommon? If uh, common. Uh, oh, yeah. You could take a drake heart if you wanted. I'm just putting that out for people because it uh, gives you a uh, plus four uh, item bonus to your AC and a dex cap of plus two. So 
it can uh, armor up people if they have like low decks. Um, if we're just throwing stuff out there, isn't there um like a fortune potion out there or something that gives you um sure strike or two true strike or whatever, whatever it's called now? Uh, you know what it's called? Sure strike. Is what I thought it's there called. was a potion, and and it might it might not even it might not be a level one common either. Yeah, can't find any. So, um, let's see, filters. Summer ball level Rates. one. Uh, rarities. There we go. Common. Okay, so you could do. Uh, alcohol, blood eye coffee, flay leaf, uh, cat, bottle of lightning, frost vial, thunderstone, bestial mutagen, cognitive mutagen, juggernaut mutagen, uh, Libra's elixir, quicksilver mutagen, uh, serene mutagen, silver tongue mutagen, blood sap, refined pesh, blight bomb, ghost charge, Drake heart, obviously, uh, forensic dye, ghost ink, Necrotic Bomb, Grit, Alchemical Fuse. There's a lot of them. Can I link the sorted list? Why not? Um, yeah, I don't think I can. Somebody want a addiction suppressant? Uh, I know we got some shooters on the team. How about uh, some Bane animation? Ammunition. Huh? Or el elemental. Oh, yeah, the elemental ammunition. Um, the ammunition deals one persistent damage and one splash step. Blast damage. Acid, cold, electric, fire, or poison? Um, da, 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 da. I mean, we could make healing, or just like straight up healing potions from her. Yeah, yeah, the elixirs, that, that's not a bad idea. No, no, not elixirs, straight up healing potions. Straight up healing? Like, yeah, it's a D8, but you don't get the uh, bonus to uh, disease. Um. Yeah, that's never a bad idea. There's also a wolf bang. Uh. When you activate the fang, you deal bludgeoning damage equal to your strength modifier to the target of your trip. Uh, Juggernaut Mutagen Lesser is probably pretty good. Yeah, I get 5 temp HP and plus 1 to fortitude saves. You get like right before battle. I don't know, but it, 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 if people don't have like good ideas, let's have people like roll for people who have ideas, and whoever gets the two highest rolls picks one each just to keep things moving. So yeah. everyone who's interested, roll a d20. Interested in something. Yeah, I'll roll. All right, anyone else rolling? <laughs> All right, oh. Jesse James, you don't Jesse. get to choose. Anyone else, or is that it? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh-huh. All right. So one from Tim and one from, I'm assuming, Drax. Or Drax. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Drax, what do you choose? Uh, let me grab a Drake card. Cool. All right. And then, Tim, what do you choose? Uh, I'm going to pick a Wolf Fang. Fang. Is that consumable? It is. It is. Cool. I'll add it on to you. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that's actually really useful. Wow. Yeah. Just... And something you can do also if someone's crafty is you can deconstruct an item to learn the uh, the recipe for it. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, just, you know, that that's an intended mechanic of the game. Cool. So, and yeah. then, uh, Mark... okay, so, so I have that as a feat at level three. Reverse engineer. Oh, I didn't realize it was a feat. That was just a uh, part of crafting. Uh, well, I, I think I think it's part of the remaster. Oh, you get a you get, no, you get a plus two circumstance to uh, correct. Right oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives okay. you a bolt. All right, so uh, Monsi is gonna um, head back because she's been missed for a while, and she said, "Good luck. I couldn't defeat them, but I'm sure you can." Okay. I assume she's headed back over to the other camp. Yeah, she's going to start gathering gathering her supplies and then uh, head back. Well, thanks for being so generous with your supplies. Thank Good you. luck, heroes! Uh, a once magnificent dirigible lies across the pathway through the scrapyard. The words Harpy's Kiss are scrawled in faded black paint across the side. It lies in a pile of scrap metal, leaning slightly starboard, blocking the path leading east to west. On the top deck, an exposed alchemical engine juts from the plank, smoke still rising from the, this blasted contraption. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out, but uh, I'm going to start working towards that uh, engine to take a look at it. As I move forward, I'll have my shield raised. Now, I don't want to rain on parade here, but I'm just wondering, how the hell did they get such a big boat this far without, you know, compromising it structurally? Uh, this is, damn, that must have taken some This is a work. flying boat. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right, Drax, as you step there... That is exactly why I stayed on the outsides. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and roll, everyone. Oh, my dice heat perception. Holy shit, Drax is going to burst! Hopefully. Uh, how do I do this? Is that this a thing? ghost automaton? <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, excuse me. What is his initiative number? <laughs> uh, he goes first. That was my way of doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what one, one, hmm. Okay. All right. A loud whistle blows, and every creature within 30 feet. Oh, it doesn't do the thing. Why is that not automated? What the fuck is that? All right. <laughs> Jesse's just barely inside it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, make a fortitude save, please. To say um, disease? No. Okay. 
This is Sonic. It's the loud whistle. Toot toot, my goot. Construct's got to roll. Yep. Come on, Alquin. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, failures across the board. So everyone takes full damage, and everyone who takes damage is stunned one. And then it's going to belch smoke like this. Man. And uh, everyone in that cone has to make a fortitude save. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Uh, no way. Uh, pop up my entry, please. I'm not taking that. All right. Yeah, we've gotten a little spoiled with how uh, refined Catmoo is with the automatic displays and stuff. <laughs> right. Sometimes to be the case. All right, cool. I'm stuck. Uh, okay, so that is a crit failure, Drax. Whee! It would have been either way. Yep. Uh, so crit failure. No takes, way. Uh, ten poison. Don't and work. you are s no regular, and you are sickened too. Oh. Both my failures. Only take five poison and are sick in two. Sick in two? Okay. Yep. Good job, Construct. But we were just stunned one, correct? Yeah. Okay. You are both. All Can right. Stun three or one? One. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, Jet, uh, what do you do? Um, Construct is immune to sick in. Okay. Not, doesn't have it on. Hmm. Let me. And haunts, typically, you don't want to fight. You want to A try haunt. to figure out what they are or deactivate them. Can I do a uh, recall knowledge? Sure. And see if um, he's coming from, uh, or like his energy is like coming from the engine. Um. Uh, yeah. I, I want you to give me two recall knowledges: one religion and one underworld. How oh, sweet. I have both those. And blind. You said religion, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. That is a photorealistic picture of scrap. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. Um... Uh... 
Uh, three, six seconds with speech. Um, I remember a name that pops up here. It's like Fira Winslow. But um, this thing's a attracted to an idea, not the ship. And then uh, I'm gonna use my last action to uh, run away. Um, and when you say this out loud, the uh, the machine wails in misery. It reacted violently to something that you said. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use my last action to um just physically call out. Uh, Fear Winslow is no longer with us in this world. Uh, you get the sense that disabling it is easier because of what you're saying. Okay. Um, I think that's all my actions. Sorry, bad turn. All right, so I lose one action because I'm spend one, correct? Yep. So that comes off me. I have two actions. Uh, first action is we are going to move away. Try to get away from everyone. Next action is we're going to wretch. Nice. Okay, success. So I take it off by one. Yep. Uh, correct. Okay, and that is the turn. All right. Hi ho silver. All right. Um I don't know why I'm saying um I know what I'm gonna do first. <laughs> uh what am I gonna do after is the good question though. Let's see if it's got a brain. I'm going to cast days at it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Six feet. Uh, it is an object. It critically succeeds. Critically succeeds. All right. Well, now we know. <laughs> All right. Metal finger. It still seems forlorn at the things that Drax said. I'm 45. Well, I'm going to take my 10 paces. And I, I, I assume the thing's kind of the engine, right? Or the... It, it, that, the engine cabin is where the sound seems to come from. And there's smoke coming from the cabin. Or from the engine. Okay, well, I will use auto-aim. And I'm going to energy shot the cabin. Okay. I'll just target that thing for my... Um, yeah. Little thing to target. Okay. Uh, it glances off. It doesn't seem like attacking is particularly effective here. Okay. And I will take... 25 back. It really seems to you that uh, getting the haunt unhaunted is the effective thing to do here. Um, let's see. I'm going to go up here for my first two actions. And for my third, I'm going to try to climb into the uh, engine room to see where the smoke's coming from. Maybe fixing that will make okay. it go away. I uh, don't know. You get up to there in your two actions, and uh, you can use a crafting uh, or engineering lore to... Uh, try to um, 
to try to counteract it. But it also seems like, uh, since it's a ghost, that uh, more spiritual methods might be more effective. Um, I, I, can, I can pray for it. Sure. Okay. You get a plus four because of its wailing. Jack's in the back. You're welcome. I need everything I can get. So click that. Plus. It makes. Yep. Plus four. Oh, I already had the thing. Well, put it that way then. <clears throat> God damn it. Wasn't blind. Failure. That's fine. It doesn't have to be blind. Oh, okay, good, good. Oh, that's right. You said that earlier. Yep. Well, I gave it a shot. At least we. Well, uh, I'm going to use six seconds of free speech to tell him that that's kind of the how to go about it is. Pray those, it away. Those pray three away. things you can pray or craft or engineering. It superheats the gear and shoots the gear out against you. Not a crit. It's going to shoot another gear at the construct. Okay. It's... With, does the range increase? Okay, all right. It, 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 it's literally only 10 feet. All right, it's going to shoot a second gear at 10 then, in that case. Oh, nice. All right, Drax. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, I am still really hurt. That second thought. Um, I'm gonna come up to here, and can I try to use occultism to try and see if I can break its ties, even though it's a harder check. Um, it, it'd be better for you to try to use religion. Okay. Not for my stats. Um, no, yeah, look at your stats. It's better to use religion. I'm going to uh, try and retch for my uh, second action. Okay. That's barely a success. Um, I'll go ahead and try and uh, pray it away. All right. Does it do it? Uh, did I need to add the plus four or? Uh, yeah, you did, but it still wouldn't have done it. I gotcha. Okay. Mm, I don't Let's think. See if I, die. I don't think you added the plus four, but yeah. Yeah, no, I did it, and I, I had it, I and it to. doesn't. Uh... Yeah. yeah. That's what I figured. Can I, get a, can I get a hero point for trying to do this? What? Sure. Yeah, you know? that's fair. <laughs> uh, just James, what are you doing? All right. We are going to try to retch one more time. Failure. Okay. Um, well, okay. we're going to give it another shot. Yeah. No penalties. Success. Okay. We no longer thickened. Uh, no longer have tummy ache. Give the old prayer a try. Okay. Get a plus four. Oh shit. Ah, uh, and guess what? You uh. wouldn't have actually needed it, <laughs> um, but you do successfully cleanse it. And uh, and you hear uh, a voice say, "Lead me again into the afterlife." Probably not. With the way the session's going, we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jax is feeling like that. <laughs> well, old Jesse's gonna say, let's head back to the goblins and get fixed up again. Uh, okay, in the interest of time, just heal up. Ba bam. And uh, let's uh, just so the bard can be doing stuff. Let's restore spell slots too. Rest. Ooh, daily prep. Yeah. So if anyone has a uh, uh, crafting stuff they want to do for part of daily prep, they can definitely do that. Hey. Okay. Yes, this will be my first time. Um, so if I go to crafting. If you click there, daily preparations, I think I it's automated say, for you. Yep, there is a button there. All right. Um, for my uh daily prep, can I break down the Drakeheart mutagen into a uh, formula? Uh, you can attempt to. Sure. Um, let's see what is this called? Uh, uh, uh disassembly. This. Or learn the formula there. A spell. Learning rituals. Uh, learn formula. Pf two D. Ah, uh, you can reverse engineer a formula using the same craft rules if you have the item disassembling it to gain the formula. So you have to make a crafting check, uh, and then spend and then uh, spend the item. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will do that. And uh, yes, metal finger. Okay, Drax. Uh, and it's a level I would, one I item. Made 15. Is oh, it is 15. 15. Okay, so you don't spend it, but you um, you need more time to figure out how to how to craft it. It's like if I kept pursue a lead on, it would give me that plus one for it. <laughs> Well, pursue a lead doesn't have anything to do with crafting, does it? Not uh, unless I could. Um... Oh, target of your active investigation. Ah, I'll let you. I'll let you have it then. Oh, yeah, that, that could be your active inve investigation. Thank you. Yeah, that actually seems like universally useful. Yeah, pursue a lead because it can almost apply to anything for this campaign. Yeah. Um, and now that the ghost is out of the ship, um, you see the uh, the door open up to be... reach inside the cockpit. Oh. Right here. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Uh, the controls look sort of unintuitive, um, as if the uh, the controls haven't worked properly in years. So someone can try a crafting check here. 
Okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I'll give him an aid. Okay. That is a bad uh, Okay, check. your That's aid does not help. And the crafting does not succeed either. Well, that was a... Uh, the yeah. engine grinds. It looks like you'll get one more chance at moving this before you damage the engine. All right. You want me to try and take crack at it? I got... Yeah, yeah. Look on my side. Can I... Oh. So, I have, um... Bray is my deity. Can I pray to... To the, um... You know, the deity of the land to give any help for crafting uh you can do that as an aid um okay. but you, they can only benefit from one successful aid okay well and i'll just well, let everybody I'll... else know that that my my religion's not very good so <laughs> so I'll, I'll let the crafter do the crafting aid then and i'll go ahead and give him aid and craft Okay. Put in uh, roll your stuff, Cam. Yeah, roll, roll your aid check. Hey, look at that. That's what an aid check is supposed to be. Uh, so you get a plus one. Word. Almost a plus two. Almost. And then who's going to try to operate it for the... Uh, Jax will give it a shot. All right, this is a pursue a lead. Hey, thank God I have a hero point. Wow. Oh my God. All right. Wow. This ship isn't moving. You're going to have to climb around it. That's hysterical. <laughs> you rolled two ones and I rolled a two. So uh, can I have an athletics check from everyone, please? Here, let me uh, let me post it to, to chat. Uh, athletics. In, oh my instead God, of I'm abysmal. Instead of athletics, can I um, use my rope to make a lasso and try to use acrobatics to climb up the rope? Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to continue uh, struggling miserably to climb this. Okay, uh, so Tim uh, and Drax, both of you take one piercing damage as uh, sharp bits of the ship cut you, but you eventually do make it over. And... Uh, some creatures look up and hiss. Oh. I see. Oh. All right, time for new. Wow, dice. you guys have been rolling like absolute shit this session. Yes, we have. Tell a me, who? Jesus. Uh, okay, so what is this? Okay. All right, so this one's going to scurry forward at the group. Um, on all four limbs, as they flop and teeter around as if they've grown out of this creature in a truly horrifying display. Metal Finger. Uh, we'll take our ten paces. Uh... Yeah, we'll head over here, I think. Yeah, take our 10 paces uh, for free. And then without, um, where is, uh, 
Can I attempt to do a distraction? Oh yeah, a lengthy diversion. Lengthy oh no. The diversion. Create. Yeah, a diversion. I I want to create yeah. a di diversion just out of out of nothing. Uh, so you can either use a gesture, a trick, or some distracting words. I'll, I'll, I'll kick my heel and, um, scrape the, uh, the boat to make kind of like a reverbing sound from behind it. Okay, I think that qualifies as a trick. Okay, and that qualifies as a failure. Ah, no, it did. Hey, you can uh, only succeed or fail on that, so... I'll just target it and shoot it. Out. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Holy That's crap. a lot of nat ones you guys are rolling. Oh, uh, well. Now we'll just hit him with the recounter's reload, then. Alright. <laughs> I'll say... I'll tell him to go fuck himself. Alright? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can I quit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd probably feel like that too uh, alright um, and then sprinting forward sprinting and... forward sprinting forward alright Bardman Okay, well, um, mm. Mm. What's what the, the hell is everybody behind me all of a sudden? This is a terrible place <laughs> to be. <laughs> We're going to tactically retreat, um, not run away. I repeat, not run away. Tactically retreat. No, tactically uh, reposition. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's kind of like stealing. I mean, uh, strategically transferring equipment to an alternate location. <laughs> We're going to cast that. <clears throat> You got this. And as you can see, I, wow, I improved my dice and made them so much worse. <laughs> that was uh, solid yellow. Nice. Success. <laughs> They're much prettier. Damn, They're much that. harder to read, though. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to do that. So let's see. Success. That means how Three. many turns is it? Three turns? Okay. <clears throat> Let me go to my FX page. Da, 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 da. Three rounds. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then da, see. I do believe that's no. I got one more action left. Um. <clears throat> let's see. I'm not scared. You're the coward here, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Um. I am going to. I'm going to have fun with this. Um, I'm going to walk up into the middle of them. Right? Hey, guys. Then I'm going to uh, quick tincture a Drake heart and consume that. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. You. Um, but, uh, I just dragged the effect onto myself. Okay, and that's me actions. Get a little bit, little bit buffer. All right, Tim. I'm gonna use my but in charge. You shouldn't charge. go up there I'm going to attack the one south of me <clears throat> hits we all right and you cut it to the ground nice 
Nice. <laughs> Following up with that, I'm going to uh, bash this other one down. Ooh. Oh, do you have your hero point? Yeah. Okay. I just James. Although now would be the right. to use it, I guess. First action, we're going to step up so that we're within 20 feet right there. Uh, we're going to target this guy and we're going to give him a blast. Uh, regular hit. Okay. Now, if I wanted to do uh, my quick bomber, where I can grab one of the bombs I made and throw it all in one action, would I take a modifier to that? Yes. 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 Yeah, anything, no, that's a, that's anything that's a strike is a okay. map penalty. Okay, just wanted to just wanted to check. So we will actually raise our shield for our final action. Or no, I'm sorry. Two. Uh, we'll give it action to for two from the construct. And there. One turn, and there's two to make that guy flat. Uh, okay, so going up behind him here. Uh, I believe this guy is going to try to bite your back. And uh, you no deflect way. it. And then he's going to try to uh, hit you with his sap. Uh, which also is harmless. Metal figure. All right. Well, I'm going to um, kick up some dust to create a distraction. All right. I got some new dice, so they'll work better. No, they won't. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> uh, target and shoot. Uh, hit. <gasps> no way. And is that the southern one? Or the this one? That one. That one? Okay. Alright, and you blast this thing's head off. Alright. Then we'll pick that one and we'll do a little recounter's reload on him. Do another distraction. Then we'll tell him to game sucks. I got new die Jesus Christ. I do die suck. <laughs> I am one, trained in distraction. Ain't I? <laughs> yeah, you are. Your Chris was only a one, though. Oh, I gotta end my turn. I... You sure do. Uh, okay. So this one's going to throw its boluses at Tim. Ooh, and that misses. Then he's going to uh, advance on Drax, and he's going to hit you with his uh, small sap. Ooh, not with a roll like that, he's not. All right, Bartman. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, let's have some fun here, shall we? Let's. Hmm. Hmm. Let's uh, let's try some fear, shall we? <laughs> okay, on which one? Okay. Oh, that's a failure. He's afraid. Hey, hey, hey! All right, and then I'm gonna shoot him in his face. <laughs> 
him some yellow okay. dice. Hit. Don't you, you love one square read. of damage. <laughs> Don't you love how easy my dice are to read? <laughs> I'd like to start interpreting them as what I think they mean. Ooh, man. <laughs> oh right, man, well, I can't see anything. That must be that one. Must be zero. <laughs> must be. Uh... Well, with how we're rolling tonight, you gotta be. <laughs> You wouldn't you got be, a good chance of being right. Yeah, you, you wouldn't be that it, right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna attack the south one for me. I'll uh, think of a half decent way to uh, do this. I don't know. An eight seems kind of risky, but I'll take it. Hit on south guy. Sweet. And slice. Uh, and his wound weeps upon hit. Please make that reflex save. Ooh. Success. And you take... can't roll above a 10. Oh. But yeah, success. Uh, yes, you don't take damage. All right. Uh, okay. And that kills it. Sweet. And then, let's see, let's see. I'm going to target this other guy and I'm going to shoot him from the left of Tim's shoulder. <laughs> Pew! Uh, oh, sixes. What? No. Tim. Tim, you didn't you didn't need to hear out of that ear anyways, did you? Nope. Uh had success with the flail, so we're gonna go back to uh schmacking this thing in the mouth. Uh it's a critical hit by a lot. You hit on a one, it one shots him. <laughs> Does, uh, finally the fighter pays off. All right, and uh, these guys do have items on them, just so you know. Does uh, one all person right. want to collect all the silver and split or calculate it up or split it up between us or what? Uh, Rex still has a lot of the silver from the vault. I can just keep collecting that and then split it up later. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. My uh, magnetic money sack. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's see. Number, number, number. Give me that number. Uh, okay. Um, Tattered and dust worn canvas tents stand against the southern and western walls of scrap. A fire pit sits between the tents, and impaled on a crude spit over the pit is the carcass of a large charred rat. The path through the scrap leads to the north and east. Nope, I can't take that one. And I'm I'm full, guys. I can't handle anything. That is that is all all I can take. I'm full up. Uh, uh -huh. one of the tents has something also. can sell it back down to the guys down south. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whoever's getting the money, go get that 20 gold pieces in the tent. 
Okay. Okay, and you guys get a uh, plus 80 experience for making it to this point. 462. Uh, uh, because we are skipping the next encounter because it says optional, and these guys seem super annoying to fight, so that's that's the reason why. <laughs> Fair. So, uh, there's a bunch of leshies you can fight here that are poisonous, and they have like a reaction to any kind of damage. Um... Yeah, super annoying. So we're not doing that fight. All right, everybody else is at five twenty six, right? Uh, take off your. Um, here you go. Do we want to go down and sell that stuff? I'm overburdened, and I think some other people are too over encumbered. Or in yeah, I'm close. Uh, uh, uh yeah, just just about. just sell stuff real quick. Uh, from here is fine. So you get half value for um, anything non-treasure. Okay. So I'm throwing in two gold pieces for two leather armors. And I had two leather on me as well, so that's two more gold pieces for you. Does anyone want this? Masquerade scarf. We all have one. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, it was so we could uh, disguise ourselves. And uh, you're bank. you're told that you have to return them. Gotcha. And I got <laughs> another gold and five silver for the bolas. For you. I think somebody picked up those saps, although I don't think they are a lot. I think they were one silver each. I don't know who got those. Are you are you not overburdened now? I'm good. Okay. No, I'm not. And hold on, uh, Trevor. I also yeah. got a sack of twenty coins from twenty silver coins from the uh, um, bank tellers. Okay, uh, I'll add 20. Is there any other gold or uh, money I'm adding into the pool? I got 11. I'll throw your way. Just silver. 11 silver? Yep. Okay. Anybody else? I saw, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm back down to good. Um, okay. And... Amongst the corpses of the uh, the sludge spine, uh, you see a crudely drawn map of the sewers uh, with X's and uh, crudely drawn uh, messages of uh, what kind of victims that were found at each location. Um, do we want to cut it here for time, or what are we doing? Uh, the, uh, there's a very logical endpoint coming up here. So if we're, if we're good for, like, 20 or 30 more minutes, then there's a very mm -hmm. logical endpoint here. You good, Dallin? Not really. I'm about to fall asleep as we mm -hmm. speak. Uh, okay. All right. We'll cut here. No. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Really, really easy to prep this, obviously. <laughs> Um, yeah. So you guys are almost at the end of chapter one. Nice. Nice. And then chapter two is really interesting. There's a bunch of like mini games in uh, in this book. Like not everything's like like dungeon killing stuff. You know, there's a bunch of like uh, like like alternative things that are that are super interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. So how's uh how's the campaign so far? I like it. It's just, it's a fun concept. Yeah, it's kind of very unique feeling, you know, and everything has like a lot of depth to it. Mm -hmm. I like how the maps are dynamic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh, the the dynamic ship that maps moves. Is so much fun to work with. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, uh, don't ever expect that on Catboo, basically, because it is <laughs> Fair. so much work to it do. It is an insane Fair. amount of macro work. Yeah, there's the reason they charge money for this. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Well, gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Oh, yep, been a guys, pleasure. guys, I'm turning off, too. Have a good night. Uh, I will see you guys. We're doing Cat Moon next week. Okay. All right. See you. see you later, guys. Later, taters. All right. So that was um, the second episode of Outlaws of Alkenstar. I don't think that my guy is necessarily has the skills that I would like. Uh, I think crafting, it's definitely heavy, heavily crafting focused. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll be able to use my society or uh, once I get my intimidation up to where I have uh, intimidating glare, I think that'll be a lot more effective in battle. I'll be using that quite a bit. But uh, yeah, all in all, pretty good. I should have used my hero point to kill that other uh, sludge spine, but oh well. I knew the session would be closing up soon, and those guys didn't seem like they needed the extra, <laughs> the extra help. They seemed pretty lightweight, so I wasn't too concerned about it. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for joining me for uh, coming to hang out. Even if you were here for a little bit, appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button and. Uh, Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it really does help the channel out. And if you want to know when I go live, definitely hit that uh, notification bell. It doesn't always work, but, well, it's better than a poke in the eye. So, but yeah, thank you guys and uh, hope you have a great rest of your night and or day. And I'll catch you all in the next one.